hello. Good evening and welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor where we do demonstrations, tips and tricks and um, techniques of watercolor. And I'm glad you're here and continuing to come back to this channel to learn with me and grow. And not just in our watercolor abilities, but our spiritual life, which is very connected to watercolors. So I'm really glad you're here. And I wanted to talk about this book today. It's a little dark in here, so I hope this shows up. It's a book called Inner, Inner, I-N-N-E-R, not Inter, but Inner Actions by Stephen C. Paul. And um, he was writing, or has produced three of these books. Another one's called Illumination. Another one's something to do with love and, you know, they're all his very loose, wonderful, he's also an artist, very loose, vibrant paintings with sayings that go along with them. And each book has like a, a theme for your spiritual self, okay? So um, this one is about taking your inner being and connecting with the outer. So in my mind, I think that he's saying, you know, by creating and painting or coloring or whatever you're doing, you're using uh, art to um, connect with our outer world and bring them into harmony which is what it says in the Amazon description. These are still for sale at Amazon, and I bought this so many years ago, probably when they were new back in the 1990s. So um, what I'd like to do is give you a little bit of inspiration with this, and just looking at his work a little bit, you will see, I'll show you a couple pictures here. Um, they're very loose, very vibrant, colorful, um, abstracted to some extent, um, uh, mainly landscape, I would say. I don't know if completely that is the case, but they're very um, dynamic, colorful, and they go with like the saying that goes along with each one. There's a writing. I'm not sure if he wrote in this one. No, Gary Max Collins wrote with him. Um, no, that's my mistake. Stephen C. Paul is the creator of the book, okay? The artist of these paintings is Gary Max Collins. Gary Max Collins. So there we go. So um, let me just show you a few more photos and maybe a saying to go with them. I'm going to look for something bright because my basement is at this time of day, it's getting dark and it gets dark in here. But here's a beautiful one. Um, I'll read this for you. Um, it's a pretty simple one. Um, excuse my magnifier. <laughs> it's very big. So here's the painting. Okay. Keep that. Try to keep that in your mind, and I'll read this simple saying, which is, um, the more you let go, the more you accomplish. Maybe we'll do another one or two, but as you can see, getting this book is something I've kept with me. If I feel like I'm getting tight with my work or not free or bright enough, colorful enough, you know, this really kind of gets me back on track. So I have a multi-purpose for this book. It's not just to connect my spiritual and my inner and outer world, <laughs> which it does. I really think these do work. Um, Here's one, create the world you dream of with every choice. Create the world you dream of with every choice. Let me see if I can find one more that's just a little, I want to say a little more, well, sort of different, maybe. Oh, wow, that's different. Okay, I like both of these, but this is very unusual. That wouldn't be a landscape, this one might be. But this one is just kind of interesting colors. Very unusual. I've never seen a painting quite like that, which is one thing I love about art. You can come up with something totally unique, even to this day, when sometimes we think we are always copying something from someone else. You can create your own art. Celebrate your body through movement and exercise. Keep it 
fit, energized, and vital for a lifetime. Oh, the more I look at that, I don't know, maybe you can see a body in there. <laughs> and anyway, just um, thumbing through the book a little, you can see all the beautiful, beautiful pieces. And they're just, you could take one a day and look at it, or several, right? And we could um, keep ourselves in a more harmonious frame of mind. Maybe even practicing by painting something very similar to these. He's got another one like that. Yeah. So it goes on and on that way with just enough of a saying, food for thought, thinking about ourselves and our, our self-care, mind, body, spirit, all together. And then, you know, being creative, you know, and that connects you. You might see something in the world that really inspires you or excites you or moves you. You can paint it. Right? So, yay! So there we go. So that's the book, Interactions. I'm more moved by these two. This, the one about illumination, um, I think it had more to do with uh, healing and um, that kind of thing. It was more about um, seeing things, oh, I know, healing and change, being able to make self change so that I might order that book so if I do I'll let you know so I hope you like this video and if you do please like and subscribe please come back for part two of our um, painting the uh, Osable River which I was at and it was beautiful you'll see that in the part one where I show you some of the beautiful river flowing the peacefulness and then the sketching and and, and ultimately we painted maybe a third to a half of that painting we're going to finish it off in part two so please join me and please like and subscribe and i'll see you there thanks for coming again have a blessed day